looking for them to come out swinging. Yes, definitely. So we have Milkshake here taking the right side along with one of the player, the player who's going to be carrying the bomb. That's going to be Revergin. They're going to be heading on this left side. There are actually four players for the likes of Hand pushing this right side. One is going to drop. It's going to be a 3v2, 2v2 now, 2v1 for the favour of Lizo. Now this is exactly what we saw with Frost. Are Lizo going to be able to clean this up? We've got Hazard on the bomb. Does spot him. Is he going to get picked up? That's very nice play. Bait and switch by Lizo. And if this is what we were saying before with Frost. They were just able to, you know, even if they didn't have a great game on the s and on the Obling, sorry, and the hard point, the s and was very strong and they came back and won it 6-2. So hopefully we're seeing another display of that this game here so we're on board yeah, with they're gonna need to understand that they can't just make plays on s and d and expect to win a series they're gonna have to pick up a respawn here as well and from the performance in the hard point they're gonna have to regroup and try and win that uplink next after this if they do take this s and d but this s and d is extremely crucial for lives so if they have any chance in this series Yes, definitely. So so we're on board with Kamigun here. He's going to be the user with the bomb. He throws a nade into medbay, which could have been an arguable play. Nades are very loud. A lot of players have headsets these days, and they're going to know that they're coming from over here. Bomb is going, potentially going down. It doesn't look like anything's happening over Blade. Bomb player does get shut down. Does get the shot in the back, unfortunately, by Gaza. Gaza taking the win for Hound. Very, very unfortunate there for the likes of Lizo. Potentially should have got that bomb down. Maybe could have been a deciding factor, but kind of taken the win. We're going to hop on board with Kami. We're going to see what Kami can do with his K-Bar. He's running left side. I'm expecting a hard wall run push. No? Yep. Maybe changing classes for the next round. So here we are. We have... Four players for the likes of Lizo on that right side towards Caves. Hound are not expecting this push at all. They have one player pushing towards the back of Hangers now. Let's see if we can jump on board with them. If I can find them, it's Ratify. He's going to be waiting over this side to see if a play could be made. There is one player on the bomb. Is he going to spot them? We can't see them just at the moment. Don't forget the X-Ray is in play, so we can see a little bit more than they can. Um, so for those that are screaming at you, yeah, screaming at you, the he's there. He does get taken down by Gaza God. Gaza God is taken down too. Lizo are making light work of this attack here. There's one player to the right. Just walk in. He's got to take on three other players to see what Dana can do here. He's got to get three players killed. And he's also got to defuse them. Ten seconds left. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to do it. Does get shut down. Lizo. Side to Lizo that we're seeing. This is exactly. I think this is the same as Frost. I think yeah, the SD seems to be a little bit stronger and it seems to be playing against Hound quite well. But I'll be looking for Hound to, you know, try and string a few rounds together, close out the SD if they can with the win. And if they win this SD, I see Hound taking a 3 0 series. Definitely, definitely. So we're on board with Milkshake here. Milkshake's going to be going through Hangar. He's going to be pushing towards the right side, which looks to be the correct play. All four players for Hound pushing down that cave side. He sees all four of them, and he's going to call that out to his teammates, and they're all going to rotate back. That's a very nice play. Playing it safe. The information is very, very, very crucial. We also have a player running around the back here. He's over by Helipad, and he's going to take the very long route over to Cave. There is one player watching. We've got to see who sees who first and who wins this gunfight. This is a very crucial gunfight to determine the winning of the round. It looks like it's going to go in favour of Hand. He does pick up that kill. A nice 4v2 in favour of Hand. Hand get the bomb down. There's two players over by the tank. Three players for Hand in medbay. One over by the JCB digger. Make that two. over now. Lizo making the final push. Does get shut down. 2v2. Very back and forth game here, Sam. Yeah, very back and forth. And the game we saw earlier, Lucent versus Frost. Frost had control of the SD, but 
as we were saying, Liza want to take this SD. They don't seem to have a you know a full grip of the game. This is going anyone uh, any way, to be honest with you. Any individual plays are gonna separate the two teams. I think what really needs to happen is the team needs to win an offensive round. Once you win the offensive round, yeah, putting yourself in the lead there. The defensive rounds are much easier to handle, as we've seen with the teams here, both taking their defensive rounds. We've seen one player popping off Galaza. Gaza. Gaza here, just checking the cave side. It's at the back of the team, he's playing the Ewad side. We're going to jump on ball with Hazza here as he makes a push for the bomb. There is one player watching this window. <coughs> he ideally needs one of the players to come over with him. He's got one on wall run, as you see there. He's going to push over with him. He's going to go through that left side. Is he going to see him? He's still on the cave there. See if we can see who this player is. This is ominous. There, he's going to anticipate push this out as he does get the kill, gets cleaned up by the second guy coming in right side. This is where the game heats up. We've got Milkshake here with the bomb, he's going to start planting. One player from from far side second hill, prison. One player from hand, pushing towards the bomb now. Milkshake seems to have a very good hold on where the bomb is. He's in a very nice position, does he win the gunfight? He doesn't, that is a big choke for Milkshake. That's a kill that you really want to be getting if you want to secure the round for this one. Revergin does get the kill. On his own now. He's got 18 seconds, doesn't manage to hold it out. So 1v1. He's got a fight. And he gets the kill. He's just going to make it back. He's not going to make it back in time. And now that round is going to go to Lizo. So team Sam. Well, you know, they came out swinging as usual and 3-2 to them now, and but it's not over. Hound can make some plays. As we see there, Hound actually gets all of their players down, just doesn't have enough time to uh, obviously make a play on the bomb and defuse it. So, still anyone's game. That's it, yeah, but it also goes to show that sometimes in Search and Destroy, even if you get all the kills, you're not going to win the round. You know, they're just playing time, baiting them out, and at the end of the day, they win the round. So we're on board with Hazza here for Lizo. All the team are going to be pushing to B again. Unfortunately, Hound have juked them out, and they're going for that A push. They don't realise that all the team are currently at B. That is going to get called out, though. So their bomb is going to start going down very, very, very quickly. Got one player in the mid, two people next to him. Doesn't manage to get the kill. Two down already. Lizo are in favour. So right there. Erad almost gets him across the map there. 2v2 team. 2v1. Hand versus Lizo. And he fought. Oh. Oh. And he, he jukes one of the players out. The invisibility comes in. He turns on him. He's got 20 seconds to go. That was a very big play. Unfortunate there for Milkshake. As... He falls off the map. Radify gets the kill. That is a very nice play for Radify. Very nice play. Shoots both of them out. Makes the play there in a 2v1 situation. And as I was saying, individual players are going to come into um, or come into play for this series. And and that was That's one it. individual play right there. Milkshake really shouldn't be falling off the map there. I mean, play was that was a very nice play there by Radify. We're on board again with Radify, who currently hasn't. HCXD, he's two kills off of his missile strike. Why is that thing called? Why is it called? Hellstorm. Wait, what one? The one that shoots three, that you control. It's, hell it's not Hellstorm, what is it? <laughs> I haven't played COD in a while. What the <laughs> with the cars and we're struggling. It's like a Hellstorm or something like that. Yeah, we're just going to something hellstorm. strike. <laughs> we're going to go on board with Lizo here as he plants the bomb. <laughs> The whole... Wait, so we've got a bombardment and a... The Hellstorm, yeah. I think that's what it's called. Sort of... Hellstorm. Okay, so now it's a 2v3 in favour of Hound. Ominous now. Pushing in through showers. As it makes it a 2v2. Ominous does get taken down in the back. We've got Kamigun, who is over on side. Does he spot the kill? He's got two people to kill. And he doesn't manage to do it live. So we're going to pull up 4 to 3. This is a very, very tight game. Uh, we could see a round 11 here. Back and forth, back and forth. So yeah, I'm probably gonna, if I was a better man, definitely round 11 is coming our way. Yes. Both teams are taking um, taking rounds each. Just Trinity Rocket, it's forever. called a Trinity Rocket. Did someone help you in the chat? Someone yeah, help Tommy. In the chat, actually. Thank you, Tommy D. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're on board with Revergin again. Re Revergin? Is that how we're saying? I don't even know. Reversion uh, or just virgin, it's up to you. 
He's a virgin. Let's just call him the virgin. Let's call him Mary. I was able to be here. Are you spotting people over by hangar? Shots are going to go down. No players have dropped yet. We're going to hop on board with Cami Gunners. He's the guy with the bomb. They are going to... They're going to start rotating, actually. Now, this is something that could be very, very, very smart. Lizo haven't cottoned onto this. They're going to go and plant the bomb now. They're going to realise very, very quickly that they've rotated over to A. Three players have been sent through cave and one player through the middle of the map. They now have to try and chase each individual hand player down. As there is a hand player over on the middle of the map. This is actually going to be dry tech. He's going to be behind three players here. He's going to get one. He doesn't manage to play the second one. He's going to be behind him. Ratify is all on his own now. All four dead. And Lizo take the win again. That's 5-3. Yeah, that's very good from them. Reverse and they comes on the flank. It's two kills. That helps his team get that round. And, um, and he's again, now well one off a Liza. Trinity rocket. Not a Hellstorm. A Trinity rocket. And kill streaks on this map. Maybe not so useful. Maybe are. Depends what kind of game mode we're playing. We're going to hop on board. Either Weird. way, kill streaks are going to give teams information. So if you're not going to get a kill from it, at least you're going to get the information of locations yes. of the other players. Yes, of course. So we're on board with Virgin here. He's going to be pushing his rotor around the back. He's managed to pick up one. Gazo picks up another one. That's a nice trade. Two for one there. Milkshake on board with Milkshakes now. He's going to be heading around the back. He's just waiting for his team to make a move. They're in a 3v2. This could potentially close out the game looks like bombs gonna start going down thanks to Gaza unfortunately for Han they seem to guess the wrong bomb site and they're on the wrong side of the map hey yes one player is gonna go down for Gaza gets another pick. last player up we're looking for Kami now Kami's gonna be he's getting tagged up he's got 30 seconds and he needs to make something happen here He's got to kill three players and defuse a bomb. He's going to need two of the wrong players in here. He doesn't manage to get the kill. That's a 6-3. That's a 6-3. That is not something that we expected to see. Although we kind of called it, in a way. Yeah, we said this could be a repeat of how Frost played against uh, Lucian earlier on. And I guess we were spot on right there. And they've won this one 6-3, Lizo. Took control of the S&D. There's another respawn coming right up, though. And Hound had complete control of the first hard point. It's going to be very interesting to see how Lizo are going to try and counter Hound's control over the respawn maps. 